Hello gorgeous people, what is going on and welcome back to another video. So recently in the community tab, I asked you guys what's the next analog horror series I should cover? And a majority of you guys said I should check out the series known as Angel Hair. Angel Hair is a series about a guy named Jonah who discovers some VHS tapes of a show from when he was younger. But what he realizes is that the show that he watched is very different from what aired on TV. He realizes that he was talking to the show and the show was talking back to him. And some of the things that the show tells him to do are questionable to say the least. Do you remember what we decided to do if you're ever afraid? I want you to take that off the table very carefully. Let's think of somewhere to hide them where nobody can use them. It would be very incriminating. In today's video, we're going to watch the entire series and try to figure out what kind of dark messed up thing is going on here. This series was created by The East Patch, whose channel link will be at the top of the description down below. Please be sure to go and support your analog horror content creators. Without them, I'm never able to make videos like these, so be sure to go and subscribe to them. But alright guys, this one's a bit crazy, so I might need your help in the comments down below. But enough of me talking, let's jump right in. Tape one, were you an angel hair child? I found something. My childhood memories are spotty and few. But yesterday I found something. Angel hair, all original episodes in color. I saw this tape in a thrift store. It overwhelmed me with feelings of comfort. This music is disturbing. This show is my comfort, my escape. But when I put in the tape, it wasn't the same. So last night I dug up our recorded copies. So I can show you. Angel Gabby. Oh, Angel Gabby. <laughs> Good morning, Francis. I love to hear you call. Oh, have you brought a new friend with you? Yes, but I'm fearful, Angel Gabby. I never know what to say. That's okay, Francis. Meeting new people doesn't have to be scary. Just introduce yourself and ask them to do the same. <clears throat> Hello there. My name is Angel Gabby. What's yours? Marcus. Nice That's to meet you. Name. It's <gasps> wonderful to meet you, and I hope we can be friends. Yes, absolutely. Fear should never control you, Francis. I'll show you how to meet someone new. First, you introduce yourself and ask them to do the same. <clears throat> Hello there. My name is Angel Gabriel. What's yours? It's wonderful to meet you, Jonah. I hope I can be a good friend to you. I thought I remembered the show having a main character named Jonah. It was special because my name is Jonah too. Another way to make friends is to share things you like. Can you think of a toy or storybook that's special to you? That's uh, great. Okay. Sharing something important lets others learn about what makes you special. I didn't have these recordings. Another oh. way to make friends is to share things you like. Can you think of a toy or storybook that's special to you? That's a great book. Just like Babe, you can grow up to do whatever you want, Jonah. That's what makes you special. I would think I was going crazy. This series had six episodes. I have to check them all. I have to remember everything. Angel Hair, created by the Mangan Sisters. Hope I pronounced that right. Okay, so I think that's a really good start to this series so far. We get to see that, you know, this version of the show that our main character Jonah experienced when they were younger is very different from this recording that they found in a store. Uh, and they show you the difference with between the VHS copy and the VCR recording. And the VCR recording definitely seems to be very specific to Jonah. I mean, literally look at the name part. It's wonderful to meet you, Jonah. 
I hope I can be a good friend to you. So obviously the VHS copy is very normal, how a kid show probably should be. Notice how she says her name is Angel Gabby, but then in the recording, it's Angel Gabriel. So there's a lot more different than it just being like specific to Jonah. Things that are actually being said are different too. She also says to the other character that fear should never control you, which is definitely a difference. So there's a lot of differences despite it looking the same. Meeting new people doesn't have to be scary. Fear should never control you, Francis. As far as the actual appearance of this series goes, it's very, very nicely animated, very nicely done. The voice acting seems great and uh, the animation's very nice. I really don't have a single complaint at all. Uh, my only thing is that if you guys have been around the channel for a long time, you know I'm not like super into like religion and stuff like that. So I don't know a lot about it. And based on the names that I'm hearing here, Jonah, Gabriel, it does sound like we're going to get into some religious topics. So hopefully I can keep up. Hopefully I can understand everything that's going on. But uh, uh, let's keep going. Let's go on to tape two. Tape two. Angel Hair's Cursed Lessons. I tried to find any information I could about the show. Oh, other versions, regions, releases. KP Publishing. The distribution company repackaged old kids shows but went bankrupt in the late 90s. The original publisher though. Wreath. Wreath of Life. It doesn't show up anywhere. Not online, not in business records. Episode 2 differences. No longer subtle. Okay. So this is the VHS copy? It's a beautiful day, Francis. We shouldn't take it for granted. Oh, but Gabby, how can I have the strength to face the day? All the rain has got me shivery and sad. Oh, Francis, it's simple. Faith and hope give us the strength to face every challenge. It may not make us physically strong, but it can give us resolve and fortitude when we need it. I could certainly use some fortitude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why it would be different for me. The sun is warm sometimes, Jonah, but you shouldn't forget the moments when it burns you. Oh, but Gabby, how can I have the strength to face the day? All the rain has got me shivery and sad. You will need strength to be resilient during times of comfort, and fortitude to be brave during times of heat. I can show you I how to be stronger, use some fortitude. even though you're so small. <laughs> I don't know why I was told these things. The rain has flooded the path back to my home. How will I ever cross? Oh, despair. You'll never cross if you give in to despair, friend Francis. Let's follow the stream and look for a narrow crossing. This will do us a lot more good than surrendering to despair. I see, Gabby. This hope is giving me a lot of strength. I thought it was a game. Rain has flooded the path back to my home. How will I ever cross? Oh, despair. In the darkest times, you must never despair, Jonana. It is our greatest enemy. Strength will be your ally, and I will show you how to be strong. I see, Gabby. This hope is giving me a lot of strength. This is very different. We feel safest where we go to sleep. Do you want your room to feel safe? Of course, yes. I thought it was luck that she always knew what I needed. First, let me show you how you can be stronger than your enemy. Like David's little pebble against Goliath, this little chair is going to be stronger than anyone who comes to your door. If we put it backwards like this, it will be like your own lock and key. Look at that! It's so strong! Now let's get in the closet. The dark can be scary, but it can also be peaceful. Instead of letting the sounds and darkness make you fearful, Look at God's blessings and concentrate hard on something you're thankful for. This is how your mind can be strong too. I like to take a big slow breath to keep me calm. <sighs> Would you like to try? <sighs> Very good, Jonah. Now you don't have to be scared, even if he finds you. My mom and I, I'd forgotten, we weren't always alone. Dad, possibly? 
Okay, so obviously this one has, like they said at the beginning, the difference is not subtle in this one. Other than it just being like some different words being said, we get a whole different animation in that second section there, where instead of this guy, you know, saying that he's going to be stronger or whatever, uh, Angel Gabriel, I guess in this case, uh, goes up to a bedroom and teaches Jonah how to block the door and then tells him to go hide in the closet and to basically try and stay calm and stay strong. There's a lot of like positive things being said. I don't really see anything negative yet. Like usually you would expect like if there was like some creepy VHS recording that was different from the original that you watched, that it'd be like creepy or there'd be something negative about it. There's definitely negative things going on like we're trying to hide from someone, but also the main character here, uh, Angel Gabriel is kind of trying to put us at ease, trying to be nice to us, be like, you know, stay strong, relax. Here's a way to hide. Like there's nothing really negative. Um, the question obviously is who is he that we're hiding from, that we're blocking the door, that we're hiding in the closet? Who is this person? We, again, we're very limited knowledge here. So I'm just guessing it's a dad so far, or maybe a stepfather. Who knows? I guess we'll see. But it's like, who made this VCR recording of this? Because it's still using the same assets and whatnot from the original show. And I believe even the same voice actor for the main character, just doing completely different situations. Like how is that even possible? I don't know if this is like some kind of supernatural force affecting these tapes, or if someone actually just gave this kid a modified tape to watch. So I'm I'm very curious to see. Uh, we're learning a little more though. So again, it's only video two out of, I think like we have 20 something tapes here. So we still got a lot to look at. From what I see here, we have like six tapes and then there's, um, six cases i don't know what the cases are or how any of that works again walking into this completely blind like i always do so i know nothing about this apparently this has been out for over a year but for whatever reason it's been popping off a lot recently so i walked in completely blind and you guys were heavily recommending this one so also just so you guys know there are some bonus tapes with additional lore on the east patch channel i want you guys to go over to the east patch channel yourself and watch them if you do want to watch those those will not be in my reaction today the link to the east patch channel is in the description down below. Tape 3. What big ears you have. Everyone has scars. That's what I was told. My mom said mine were from horseplay as a child. I don't know what to believe anymore. Alright, we'll go back and look at those. But I know I won't stop digging, not until everything is clear. Episode 3, she broke character mid-show. I'll feel safer with this, the way you wield that sword. These are nice props to demonstrate God's armor. But remember, Francis, the real sword of the spirit isn't a weapon. Ephesians says it's the sharp wit and powerful depth of his word. Oh, good. I'm no good at fighting actual battles. No not once if he's not coming back for a while. Was she watching me? Jonah, you're a very brave and very special one of God's children. No, no, it's it's all right if you weren't listening. Do you remember what we decided to do if you're ever afraid? Is that even possible? I want you to take that off the table very carefully, only holding the handle. It might be heavy. Use both hands. Can you hold it up so I can see what kind it is? Whoa, I must have talked to her for hours. How do I not remember? Now that we've got the pieces apart, let's think of somewhere to hide them where nobody can use them for harm. No, Jonah, not the kitchen. A lot of people hide things in the kitchen and there's too much traffic for it to be safe. No, not the toy chest in your room. It would be very incriminating. We can learn that word later, but it could get you into trouble. <laughs> Was nobody else around for all that time? Good, good. Now, see if you can put the book back in front of it. Wonderful job. Be slow and steady as you climb back down. Was I left completely alone at such a young age? I think the belt of truth doesn't quite fit around me. 
Does that mean I'm extra honest? Or... I'll always be well, your warrior, case, Jonah. Now... Where did she go? I, I hope we'll like never have to draw a weapon. As a warrior, but as your guardian angel? Thank you. What happened to my angel? I'll always be ready. All right, so first thing I want to do is take a look at the name on the tapes at the beginning. Dillinger, Guardian Angel Making Friends, Angel Show, When Rain May Cover, Guardian Angel Armor of God, The Sword in the Stone, oh, Karate Kid 2 was on here, Andy Griffith, Season 5, Episode 83, Batman, A Death Worse Than fuss i can't fully read it exactly angel bunny forgiving friends angel bunny dealing with bullies guardian angel a day out okay so we could definitely confirm now there's some kind of supernatural weirdness going on here whatever you want to call it angel gabby on the tape is literally talking to jonah in real time in some of these situations and it's interesting to note that jonah remembers none of this absolutely none of it which could be excused because maybe he was just so young so he doesn't remember it but if something traumatic does happen it would be hard to believe that he doesn't remember any of it unless these memories are kind of just suppressed in his mind but i think it's so funny that the tape seems to go on even though if gabby isn't interacting with any of the other characters in the show like you still see the other character kind of just talking to himself basically because gabby's not paying attention at all it seems like gabby's talking to jonah about some kind of like emergency plan plan like she says do you remember what we decide to do if you're ever afraid and then talks to him about something on a table hold the handle it might be heavy hold it with both hands can you hold it up so i could see what kind it is and then the, talking about let's think of somewhere to hide them where nobody can use them for harm so it definitely seems like some kind of weapon i don't think it's a knife though i want to say maybe it's like some kind of gun but i could be overthinking that but this is so wild to me that she's like oh can you hold it up so i could see it like she's talking and be seeing through the tape through whatever tv he's watching on and for whatever reason these tapes were recorded too it's just it's just so weird like were these on tv and then when they recorded them they were just out of whack or i i really i, I don't know i don't know at all what to think so far but whoever this person is that was also in jonah's life at this time it seems like gabby's trying to protect jonah from them like she says i'll always be your warrior jonah no matter what but where did she go did the threat go away so she went away too. Very interesting to know. But all right, on to tape number four. Tape four. Little white alibis. I should be frightened. I should be confused. But there is only calm. And a sense of dread that something happened. That something tore us apart. Episode 4. Am I complicit? I'm sorry, Gabby. I was scared you'd be mad at me. But I shouldn't have lied. No, you shouldn't have. It hurt my feelings that you would take one of my angel feathers. But it hurt me so much more that you would lie about it, Francis. Will you ever forgive me? The Bible tells us to forgive. But Proverbs 19 also warns us about the consequences of lying. Do you think we should forgive Francis now that he's apologized? We should? That's very nice of you. It shows a lot of courage to be merciful toward others. Francis, I forgive you. That's so kind of you, Gabby. She's like a completely different person. I'm sorry, Gabby. I was scared you'd be mad at me, but I shouldn't have lied. Honesty is important, Jonah. You should always tell the truth. If you know you're going to be in trouble, you should create a truth for later. Will you ever forgive me? Go to a friend's house when something bad happens, and you won't have to lie about it when they ask you later. They are going to ask you what happened, Jonah, so you have to make sure you're gone when the time comes. We have to make sure you only have truth to tell. She's planning my alibi. Alibi for what, though? You can forgive Francis if you want, but it will be difficult to ever trust him again. Revelations warns us of the place prepared for liars. It's up to you, Jonah. What would you like me to do? 
I looked for incident reports in my hometown, but there was a flood at the municipal building. It's it's, it's all right. Take your time and think about it. It's not an easy decision. Water crews arrived and were able to essentially close No records the survived. Gates, but not before the damage was done. It's gonna take I was thinking the same thing. I'll help you however I can. Hmm. So, did Jonah kill whoever this threat in his life was and Gabby was kind of helping him form an alibi so that he could get away with it? Because it does seem like that they were talking about hiding weapons in the last episode and then now he's trying to form an alibi because they're gonna ask him about it. And Jonah can't even find out if there's a record of anything happening because apparently the building with all these records was flooded and all the records are gone. So something may have happened, but there's no way to know now. But now I really want to know what happened. And so let's just immediately jump into the next one. Tape five, footage not found. I took a trip back home. We're gonna go speak to mother, see if she knows anything. Where we first met. I mean, that's a good, that's a good idea too. Maybe you'll find some clues. I don't want to scare my mom. Little cat. Oh. So I haven't told her why I'm here. We're going into the attic? To search for anything from my childhood. I didn't expect to find. Oh. More tapes? So much. Drawings and merch? Some children may break many balloons, and the experimenter may try to find out whether he feels any guilt about the destruction. When the wind blows, the cradle rocks, the bow breaks, and down come our babies, cradles and all. Children witnessing violent events on television. I had no idea she went down the same road I'm taking. Beginning at one year of age, the child is trying to interpret what he sees and he feels danger. Get back to your home. Things that are a little different. I've only scratched the surface compared to her. Whether it's exposure to the television programming itself or the family and social conditions that lead to children spending a lot of time watching it. Unfortunately, if the child does not smile, we cannot infer that he is not comprehending the event. I can't make her revisit the this. programming itself, the burden appears to fall on the film industry. Whatever the combination is, it seems to be a fairly lethal combination. Not until I found out... ...how to find my angel again. One of their neighbors kept on looking for them until they were found. What we did. If placed in a dark room, he would probably open his eyes while searching. There aren't enough pieces to figure out the past. I have to take this into my own hands, here now. I have to bring her back. Meanwhile, as an old friend used to say, good night and good luck. I mean, if it is possible to bring her back, you could straight up just ask her, yo, what happened when I was younger? Please tell me. Uh, so there was this notice of cease and assist here. Dr. Whitman, I represent Keith Publishing and by extension Gills Keith. Keith Publishing has politely requested you refrain from your attempts to contact the company regarding past properties on multiple occasions. Despite these good faith efforts, you've persisted. In the months since your first contact, you have disturbed employees at their homes, met with Gills Keith under false pretenses, attempted theft of company documents, harassed the company and strained the business phone lines. With the serious nature of these infractions under consideration, Keith Publishing now demanding that you cease all attempts to contact the company 
its employees, its related entities, and any related individuals concerning angel hair or any related matters. This will be your only warning on the subject before legal action is taken against you. The best way you can protect your son now is to refrain from any more attempts at contacting the company, not through ongoing efforts to harass Keith. So is this a cease and assist to his mom? Because it says the best way you can protect your son now is to refrain from any more attempts at contacting the company. So it definitely seems like something big did happen. Uh, we get another one here. Miss Whitman, thank you for reaching out to Upstate Broadcasting. We appreciate the time you took to reflect your materials and write your letter, but we cannot assist with your request. The now in question is now, oh, the blank in question has not been a part of our program block for some time now. And our current team was not around during its run. Any materials remaining in our archive public disclosures they currently under the rights holder so based on what i'm reading here if i'm understanding this right it does seem like jonah's mom knew that something was wrong with these tapes and tried contacting the company and the company was basically like yeah we don't know anything and that stuff is too old to even find out anything about it and she tried seeking so much information that they eventually wrote her a cease and assist we also got a tape here that says aggression and destruction games balloons demonstration film of a projective technique by l joseph stone then there's every child should know and then i could have sworn i saw one about like child aggression or something oh yeah here we go how to help angry kids my thoughts so far is that jonah did do something pretty bad pretty aggressive or was doing aggressive things and jonah's mom seemed to think that the tapes were responsible for it based on what we've seen from the tapes so far it does seem like that the tapes have just been kind of nice to jonah and been trying to protect him but maybe there is more to this than we have seen so far and yeah he does say here that his mom seems to have gone down the same rabbit hole but no pun intended but uh she may not have figured everything out and he doesn't want to tell her yet because he wants to find out for himself and see if he could solve everything all right we're immediately going to the next tape i gotta i gotta keep knowing what's going on here tape six a final call okay here we go tape six i believe this is the last numbered tape my recordings of her are set in stone that's a lovely drawing jonah the live broadcast was how she spoke <laughs> that's silly jonah people can't fly was where she lived. Don't worry. We can stay here as long as you need me to. I had to get her live again. I feel insane, but I'm going to live stream an episode. I hope you're having as much fun as I am. I'm letting her out. The colors show other animals that they're dangerous. Part of me is desperate for this to not work. We can be dangerous too, Jonah. For this to all be a strange dream. We can keep them away with just our banner. But I have to know for sure. Bro is actually streaming it on Twitch. Angel Gabby. Oh, Angel Gabby. Hello. Um. Gabriel? <laughs> Angel Gabby? Good morning, Francis. I love to hear you call. Have you brought a new friend with you? Yes, but I'm fearful, Angel Wait, Gabby. Wait, something's different. Something's I different. I don't know what to say. Oh my god. What? Um, it's, it's me. Jonah, I'm here. Do you remember me? I'm so happy to see you, Jonah. <laughs> Just look how well you've grown. That was like really sad and happy at the same time. The fact that he actually got to speak to her again. It's interesting though, that it seems they can only interact when it's like a live broadcast of some kind, whether it's actually on TV live or if it's just live streamed on Twitch, I guess, which is so weird and so interesting. The, uh, I, I immediately got to jump into the next one. I got, I got to know what they talked about or if they did talk any further. The Easter tape. Cracked shells. Uh, 
There's an extra gift this Easter. Angel Easter. It must have been my first Easter alone. An Angel Hair Easter activity series. Hello. Happy Easter. He What's going is on? Risen. He has risen indeed, Francis. Are you ready to celebrate this special day with our friends? Oh, yes, Gabby. Only, I'm not sure how. Can you help? Of course. Will you follow along with us? Yes. That's great. So how do we start? We start with some eggs. Now we'll be using... Oh no, careful! That's why we'll be using boiled eggs. Let's get a parent to help, okay? No, no, with a parent. Oh, my. Okay, so she's still talking to him. She was so patient with me. All right. Now we have everything set up. Let's go over our materials. We have hard-boiled eggs, cups full of dyed water, and paints. Now, egg painting comes from an early Mesopotamian metaphor for the Holy Trinity, and Christians would paint them red to represent the crucifixion. But today, we can paint whatever we like in all sorts of colors. We can paint whatever we like? Well, I would paint something that matters to you, like a special flower, favorite image, or missing memory. Ooh, or missing fun. memory. Now, first we have to dye the egg to get a base color we can paint on top of. You have to be careful because dye is a potent stain. So if you use your spoons to carefully lower your... See, now your hands are going to stay that color. <laughs> I'm all done, Gabby. <laughs> Clearly Jonah messed up. Oh. Actually, I'll take that, Francis. How about you try another one? All right. Okay. Was that symbol that mean? And hands and shirt are all dyed. We can get to the paint. Remember that eggs are round, so we have to cover each and every side of them. I like to surround my egg in palm fronds to remind me of promises made. How does this look, Gabby? Make another, Francis. All right. Oh, careful! You're actually trying to keep all the paint on the egg. No, no, we'll eat them later, once it's dry and out of the shell. Look what I made, Gabby. Dude! I, I'll start again. It's okay. The egg itself is just for fun. It's surreal to remember this. What's important is to remember the message, which is that someone was willing to die to keep you from harm. You can always have faith in that, Jonah. Happy Easter! I want to share it with her. Angel Gabby! Oh, Angel Gabby! We can laugh about it together. Where is she? Angel Gabby! What? Gabby! <laughs> Angel Gabby! Is she gonna call oh, her? Angel Gabby! So not only did I not get to see what their conversation was in the last tape, I also now know that Gabby's not showing up anymore. So they must have had some kind of conversation interaction and now Gabby's not showing up like she was before. Come on, come on, man. I just, I need more, I need more info. It also is interesting to note that she says that someone died to protect Jonah. So I'm not sure who may have died, whether it's his father, who I thought his father would be evil in this case. It's definitely not his mother. Maybe Gabby did die for him, but she does show up during the live stream. There's a lot that I'm confused about. I need more. So we're just gonna jump straight into the next tape. Case one, do you know this rabbit? Okay, so these tapes are called cases now. We'd been talking every night. It was just like before. A perfect escape. She was on. 
she was all I would wait. Hold on. How long was that stream? Okay, just one hour and 33 minutes. I thought that was one day and 33 hours or something. I was like, bro, how long were you talking to Gabby? She was all I would ever need. After Easter, though, she was gone. Yeah, where did she go? Why? Angel Gabby. Gabby. Oh, Angel Gabby. My angel, my peace was gone. There was no warning, no sign. Did you ever ask her about what happened during his childhood though? So I've been streaming on loop nonstop. Okay, 158 hours. Hoping I didn't ruin it somehow. Hoping she'll reappear. Holding out hope. But there's been no trace until today. I thought it was the worst possible thing. Her not coming back. I was wrong. What's worse? Oh, whatever this is, it's worse. I don't like it. I don't like him. Hello, friend Francis. I love to hear you call. But I can't look away. I have to watch to find out what happened to her. To get her back. Is this a new friend? You can hear him crying in the background. Okay, obviously not much to talk about there. Um, it seems like a new um, demon angel, I guess, has appeared or a demon has appeared instead of an angel. I immediately want to jump into the next one. I want to find out what the hell this thing is. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's do it. Case two, last resorts. I feel sick watching this. Francis. Francis. Yes, but I'm fearful, Angel Zaggy. Angel Zaggy? Sounds a little too much like daddy. I don't want to think about it. About what it could mean that he's here instead. That's okay, Francis. I'll show you how to meet someone new. First, you introduce yourself and ask them to do the same. That he must have done something to her. That he could do something to me. Hello there. My name is Angel Zag. What's yours? That's a beautiful name. It's wonderful to meet you, and I hope we can be friends. He seems like he doesn't really care. I'm afraid, because I know he can see me. Another way to make friends is to share things you like. Can you think of a toy or storybook that's special to you? So I'm playing along. Gabby is special to me. Sharing something important lets others learn about what makes you tick. Episode 2, I need a plan. It's a beautiful day, Francis. We shouldn't take it for granted. Oh, but Zaggy, how can I have the strength to face the day? All the rain has me shivering and sad. He keeps changing the script. It's simple, Francis. Respect and penitence gives us the wisdom to face every challenge. It may not make us obviously wise, but it can give us common sense when we need it. I know he knows. I could certainly use some fortitude. But I'm running out of options. If I try getting him to respond, I know you can hear me. Let's start on the path back to your home, Francis. With all this rain, there's a chance the way is washed out. He just ignores me. 
Interesting. Uh, how will I ever cross? Oh, despair. You'll never pass if you give in to despair, Francis. If I try to pause the show. I am scared, but there is one more thing I can try just to make him stop. Yeah, just stop the stream. I'll end the live broadcast. Exactly. Let's follow the stream and you're the one airing this? You aren't in a TV station. How are you doing this? Oh, it worked. Are you able to record? Why did you put the show back on? Are you with Wreath? Too well. I don't know what I'm doing or why he's here. What, all of a sudden you got nothing? Fran, do you know this guy? Um. Looks a little old for cartoon rabbits. But I know one thing. I'm friends with Gabby and I want to bring her back. I came to find her, genius. What are you doing? Dude, this this series is so interesting right now. So it doesn't sound evil. And it also, I do kind of believe him at the end that he doesn't sound evil either. Like he does re reply and say that he's looking for Gabby too. He's also very confused about how like, it's not a TV station and how he's somehow streaming the episode and ending it too. Like that's so weird. So hold on, he did say, are you with Wreath? Okay, so back in tape two, we actually learned that the original publisher was Wreath, as you can see here. It was Wreath of Life. So that's probably what he means by are you with Wreath? All right, I gotta, again, we gotta, we gotta keep going. We gotta keep going. There's not, there's not much to talk about. We're getting like very little with each of these tapes, like information wise. We're getting a lot to watch, which is great. But as far as like information, we're not getting much, which is obviously making me want to keep watching more and more and more. So let's jump into the next one. Case three, circumstantial crossroads. I can't find out who this guy is. He was called Zaggy. But there are so many angels when you really look. The show has only ever had one. The devil and the deep blue sea. I don't know who he is, but I do know that he's serious. Before then, she was always answering her call. Oh, um, I'm not really supposed to. Sure, but this is an exception. I think Gabby still likes to try to have a lesson. Teamwork, diligence, Proverbs 2717. Work with that. Well, in that case, I have some documents that may help. I don't want He's taking a logical approach. He doesn't care about the show staying on track or being there for anyone. But it is a logical approach. And it's more than I have right now. I want to help. Much appreciated, but I don't know you, pal. So how's about keeping the lights on? That'll be enough. Okay. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> I don't trust him either. Sometimes I kind of do. Confidant, I get visions bestowed upon me in my sleep. I like to doodle them down for giggles, and this one came to me Easter morning. Let's have a look. Oh. And you said that was the first morning she didn't... Ah, oh, well, ain't this bupkis. You'd think a kid's flick would keep it simple. Is this the only style you know? I'm not sure what you mean, Angel Zaggy. That's just exactly as I saw it. Would you stop calling me Zaggy? She's gotta be so darn traditional. Hey, Pally. I can only get so much done with eight fingers and a tail. This'll be a lot easier in a setting with more depth. Another setting? So be straight with me. Can you put anything on the air? He wants me to leave the show empty. Turn it off and find Gabby. Tell me what to do. 
I don't know if you guys have ever seen like take this like I don't know however you want to take it but I've seen on like Instagram and Twitter people are like oh this is like what the Bible really says an angel looks like and it's like this crazy thing with a bunch of eyes and whatnot this kind of looks similar to that I'll try to put like an image on screen of what I'm talking about but this looks very similar and this is apparently something Francis had a vision of so I don't I still don't know did Gabby like ascend to a higher angel or something I do trust this guy though I seem like whatever he's trying to do he's really trying to find Gabby but he also doesn't seem to understand who Jonah is or Gabby's relationship to Jonah he still thinks that this was on like an actual television show but now that he realizes that it's not he's like asking Jonah for help now this is just I thought this was a like finished story I could be wrong I thought that's what people were telling me people were like oh this story does have an ending but there's only I think like three tapes left and I don't know how we're gonna wrap this all up in three tapes if I do have one thought though I'm kind of sketchy of Francis now to be honest because Jonah watches the Easter video and Francis kind of draws up a lot of weird eggs that Gabby was not happy with and then suddenly after that she disappears maybe there's a connection there somehow. I guess we'll have to see. Let's jump into the next one. Case four, field work. He's not from angel hair, not originally. I'm past asking if this is smart. somewhere to go something to find what is going on and I did I've had many names what does it matter what would my name mean to you yet I have told you we are partners. Tonight our partnership will be consummated. I will show you how strong wild it hair. Is. It's older than angel hair. He doesn't understand streaming yet, but I did what he said. So he's from a cartoon that's older than angel hair. I played it live. And it worked. If it ain't Detective Zag Wild, been a minute, Z. Tell me that's a new client. Totally Francie. different cartoon. This is Francis. Of Whoa. course, I remember you, M Miss Franny. Don't overdo it on the mints this time, hun. Franny, we're in a bit of a... Yeah, yeah, always a day that needs saving. I'll make sure you're not disturbed. This is not like her show. It isn't cozy or safe. These aren't my memories. Or my friends. Now give me those documents again, Chief. I don't care what he wants. That's more like it. Starlet finds a new stage, facing grueling new demands. Can she handle the glamour of a life among the stars? Only time will tell. And this version makes sense to you? I don't care if I cause this. At least we know she's still out there. Of course she is, silly. Angels can't die. I just need to fix it. So what does it mean, detective? Let's think. All the clues have to be here. It's how the show works. How she always fixed me. Finds a new stage. Is she coming back? The show may change, but she's the same. I know how to find her. A very well handled job and profitable for you. My hand. Take it to bind our pact. Come. Take my hand and place it on your heart. 
heart. I still have an enormous amount of questions and I almost feel like maybe I missed something. So originally the series started out with that there were these weird tapes with how Angel Gabby was able to speak to Jonah and how is that possible? We still don't know how that's possible for one. There was also another thing where we know that somebody was kind of after Jonah or maybe hurting him when he was younger. That person's now gone. We still don't know what happened with that. We still never got answers to that. It seemed like we were going to because Gabby was able to talk to Jonah and then Gabby vanishes. And then now this other guy comes in, Zag, and Zag wants to find Gabby, but can't do it in the angel hair cartoon. So he makes us go into this other wild cartoon which is like an old noir style detective thing how did we get here <laughs> i did not this is not how i expected this to go i'm gonna be honest i don't know how i'm feeling about it just yet uh, again this is like the first episode like this so very different um it is where did he uh, like where did he go this door is locked during service did he go to a church? Like, I'm very confused. He goes into, what was this? The conference room library. There's some photos of Jesus there. And then he finds a tape behind some books. And it seems like it's like hidden there for wild hair. It's very old, obviously. You could see that from just how it looks. Is it a coincidence that behind like, these do look like children's books, right? Like saying, learning how to pray and stuff. These do look kind of like children's books, right? Learning how to pray the lighthouse mystery the mystery in washington dc they do seem like younger books which is kind of lines up with remember how angel gabby told him to hide that thing behind the books when he was younger i don't know if that's just a parallel or if it's a coincidence or if somehow this is what he was hiding i'm not sure not sure how to interpret that part but again i'm so invested in where this is gonna go i don't even i have no idea where it's gonna go right now i have no theories or anything like that right there that does kind of fall in line with what we said like did angel gabby ascend to a higher angel in a way ruling new demands can she handle the glamour of a life among the stars it's very interesting but what would cause her to ascend why would she ascend to a higher angel now maybe i could be completely wrong about all of this and i'm just talking out of my ass here but let's see case five flirting with the void No matter what I went through as a child. Don't worry. I'm right here for you, Jonah. Good job. Now it's your turn to hide. But don't leave the room. That's cheating. Or what changed later. Just look how well you've grown. One thing never changed. Hello, Jonah. You called? I'll always come when you call, Jonah. Her promise. All this time I've been waiting, hoping she would come back, doing what someone else said. And I asked for her, wanted her back, watched her cloud. Oh, Angel Gabby! Before, even if I didn't really need her, she answered anyway. If she's not here, it's because she can't, right? What if streaming her so much got her lost or stuck or broken or something? I don't know, but she wouldn't break her promise. Right? So I explained streaming to the detective. And we made a plan. So we fellas figured if she's somewhere she can't hear us, we're gonna call really loud. Really loud. I'll stream as many screens as I can. Oh my god. 
and he will too. Oh my, demon hair boxes. All right, let's go. I have to admit though, information is feeling one-sided. Call them Looky, demon hair boxes. What exactly are you? That's classified, pal. How do you see through the screen? Don't worry about it. How do you know Gabby? Oh, there. We're associates. Is she in trouble? I'm not her dad, pal. I don't care for her hand-holding approach, but her work's none of my business. You ask me? Kids are smart. Show them what to do, they'll figure it out without the song and dance. How old is your show? Are there more? Look, buddy, I need you to slow down and ask yourself an important question right now. Think about your little rabbit friend and really ask, do you want to know, or do you want her back? Huh? He was right. I never needed to know. Not about my past, not about hers. I just need to know she's okay. No, we need to know. Oh goodness, it's Gabby. But she isn't okay. She never left. Gabs, Gabs, can you hear me? So it seems like she's still in the shows, but in a different form. Also, Zag's being very sketchy now, not giving any answers to any questions. And right when Francis was about to say how Zag and her knew each other, he kind of pushes him away and he's just like, oh, we're associates. That's very sketchy. That's very weird. Oh my God. Wait, these are all different frames from the other case of videos and they all combine to make an image of Gabby. That's sick and very well done. Someone even in the comments put all the timestamps for all the sightings that they have of her. That is insane. That is nuts. So that's crazy. If you actually like took your time, you could have put that together somehow. That's fire. All right, here we go. This is the last video, I believe. Case six. Here we go. Case six. Lady come down. <laughs> I don't understand how they interact with the world. Hey, Gabriel, it's me. Can you hear me? So I don't know how we found her where she is. Say something, Fran. Do the call. Split between too many streams in too many places. All because of me for exposing her to this. G Gabby? Oh, Angel Gabby? Francis? Zexigal? Are you? We're in wild terror. We came to find you. Jonah? Oh, Jonah. I'm... I'm sorry. He's a big kid. He can handle himself. Are you okay? She's trying to help everyone. On an internet full of troubled kids. He's right. You're so capable now. Trying to be there for them. All of them all at once. And here I am. Distracting her for my own sake. What do you need? You need me to come to you. You're all grown up, Jonah. I should probably... I should go. You should make me forget again. Excuse you? Didn't you say she was your friend? It's very kind of you to put others before yourself, Jonah. But you don't have to be scared. I am scared. Scared I'm wasting your time. Scared I'm work for you. It's true that you're not a child anymore. I can't help you how I once did. But it's kind of fun, isn't it? You can be anything you want now, Jonah. Just like I always knew you could. You certainly aren't how I remember. Okay, we don't have to get dramatic. Are you grounded, Gabs? You better. I... don't know. There are so many voices calling. 
It isn't like before, Zagzagel. It's the internet. Millions of TVs, apparently, that don't run on time blocks. The kid knows the lay of the new landscape. I don't know. I don't care for it myself. We've adapted before. Yeah, but back then, we had help. Would it bother you, Jonah? If I'm not the perfect guardian you remember? If things didn't stay the way they were, and... I needed you too. What? You want a guy on the outside again? You were never perfect. You were just there for me. And now you can be the same. <laughs> Feathers all around me Holy lights above Could it be an angel's wings? Could it be a love? Help me, help me, angel hand Don't leave me here on my own Save me, save me, angel hand When I'm in danger, visit my own Precious Defender, please visit my home. Until you call again. Okay, so here's my interpretation on this whole series, and I think I understand why I was struggling with it so much too. Whenever we watch these analog horror series, we're always led to believe that there's some evil force, there's some evil being behind everything. I don't think that's the case here. I don't really think there is an evil force. And that's why it was so confusing for me. I kept waiting for this revelation of, oh, this person's evil, this person betrayed uh, Gabby, you know, all of this. And really, that was never the meaning of this show. Here is my explanation of how I think everything goes down in this. I believe when Jonah was younger, he had a very abusive father and his mother used to leave him alone all the time. Gabby would be on this TV show that Jonah watched and she would help him through these troubles that he had as a child. Eventually, something happens to Jonah's dad, whether he dies, gets killed, I don't know what happens to him, but eventually he's out of Jonah's life. And this is when Gabby leaves. Jonah grows up, he's no longer dealing with these troubling times, so therefore Jonah forgets about all this. Gabby did her job and got Jonah through these troubling times, he's now an adult, whatever. Then Jonah finds these tapes, realizes, whoa, this is weird. It's almost like I was talking to someone on these tapes. So he brings back Gabby by streaming the show and she comes back, talks to him, but she's not helping him anymore. He doesn't need help with anything. He's an adult now. He's got different issues that he doesn't necessarily need Gabby's help for. But because Jonah brought her back by streaming her, now she's on the internet. Now she can help millions of children around the world that use the internet because everybody uses the internet this day and age, including children to watch their own shows. And I think that's how she becomes this higher being like we discussed during the video. She's not only just helping a few kids now during her, you know, show airing time from 4.30 to 5, she's now helping kids 24 seven across the internet. And maybe that's what's having her struggle at this point at the end of the series is that she doesn't really know how to handle it. She doesn't fully understand everything that's going on, but Jonah is there at the end to help. Jonah asks if he could forget again, but she says, maybe you could be the guy on the outside. Maybe you could be the guy to help me. And I think that the ending to this series is really a good ending where Jonah is just going to help Gabby be able to help millions of children across the internet just like how she helped him when he was younger get through his own troubled times. As far as Zag and stuff goes, I think Zag is just another version of Gabby, but Zag was on his own show. Like he was on that noir show back in the 1920s. And when his show used to air on TV or wherever it was, he used to help children in the same way that Gabby did. As we can see, these angels take many forms on whatever show that they are on. So there's a chance that Gabby, by being across the internet, takes the shape of any show that these kids are watching now in this day and age. At least that's how I interpret this whole thing, I don't think there really is some evil force. And when you look back at the series, there really is no sign of some evil going on here. The most confusing evil thing was that it does kind of almost allude to that Jonah may have killed his father or done something to his father. But I think Gabby just had Jonah prepared in case anything really bad did happen. There are a few confusing things to me. Like, I wonder if the Wreath Company was fully aware of, you know, what they were doing, if they actually had these angels on their television programs. And I think there's definitely a lot of things that I I may have missed throughout the series that were just related to religion that I just don't fully understand. But please feel free to explain or correct me on things that I may have gotten wrong in this video in the comments down below. Obviously, the series was very different from what 
I thought it was originally going to be. I, you know, I thought it was going to have this horrifying twist because we just watched straight up horror here. There's usually no happy endings or no happy twists in these series that we watch. So this was definitely a nice change of pace and definitely a very like sweet story. But obviously, like I said, be sure to let me know any theories or thoughts that you guys may have in the comments down below. And obviously, huge shout out to the East Patch for making this incredible series. The link to the channel will be at the top of the description down below. There's obviously a bunch of other stuff on their channel, so be sure to go check it out. Always be sure to go and support your analog horror content creators. Without them, I can't make videos of us reacting or going over to series like this. So be sure to go subscribe to them right now. But all right, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video, and I hope I did understand this series correctly. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to drop a like on it down below. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to hit a million subscribers before the end of 2024. But all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.